this video uh, we will go over uh, how to manage your locations and you go to my calendar manage locations now what you can do here to enter a location into the database of course you just enter a name new location we'll call it we'll call it Joe's Bar and Grill like their example and we'll give it uh, Pensacola Florida and three two five zero five and because on these particular calendars we we also need to be able to sort by their location again I'm going to show you why We're sorting by location we have a meetings calendar we have a calendar of events but if you go to the district groups we're only interested in in meetings and events to happen to be in their district so we're sorting on on this on this particular website we're sorting by the district that they're in so I've divided we got district 13 21 and 22 so I'm going to go back here we're going to give this a district we'll call this a what is it district uh, district 21 I believe is this particular district here so we're going to put that in the region and remember you have to type it exactly as I show it here uh, whoops 21 and this initial zoom here is going to be for the Google map we'll leave it at what at the uh, website so we can now add that location to the database and if you notice it now shows up on the list somewhere let's see if we can find it here there it is Joe's bar and grill if you want to edit that location let's say you forgot to put a building number say uh, say Job's Bar and Grill was in a a strip mall. Okay, so we can put say building building twenty. Okay, and that changes it there. And we can go back down, find it again, and we'll notice all that information is there, right there. All right. Now, let's say you've made a mistake on an event, you got the location wrong. So let's go find the event we set up in a previous video, I believe it's called My New Event, I think it's on page 3 here, so let's take a look here, let's see if we can find it, there it is, My New Event. You know, uh, one thing we can do, we're going to call it Joe's Bar and Grill. Okay, that, that's going to change this event, but if, you, if you'll notice, if you'll go down to here, we have it called the place. Well, we didn't want the place, we wanted it to be Joe's Bar and Grill. So we're going to update. And we'll go back, say District 21. I think I have to set it for daily, so it should show up here. My new event, Joe's Bar and Grill, and it's going to show the map for Joe's Bar and Grill. Now, notice I like to put the word map on the end. That way, it makes it red, uh, you know, instantly apparent that that's a link to a map. If you don't put the word map on the end, this is what happens. So, we made a mistake. What do we do? We go back in here. We'll go to Manage Locations, and we'll go find Joe's Bar and Grill, Edit, I keep doing that, and we're just going to simply type the word map here. Now I want you to pay careful attention to this, when you change a location, any information about a location it will not update all the events on the calendar for example let me refresh this 
you'll notice it just still says Joe's Bar and Grill. What I would recommend, if you want to change that event information to get it update, you will need to go back to Manage Events. You can do it from here as well. You'll want to edit all. Okay, just click on that, and you will go in, and I'll show you from the back end on Manage Events. We're going to go back and find my new event. Okay. There we go. You need to go here, edit the event, go down, and you notice it has Joe's Bar and Grill. Go find Joe's Bar and Grill with the word map next to it. Just go ahead and select that. Save the event. Go back and we're going to refresh this. And you know it's got Joe's Bar and Grill map. Now, oftentimes when you add a new meeting, uh, let's go, let me just go ahead and uh, let's go manage events. I'm going, I'm going to delete this event altogether and we're going to re-add it. new event so let's go ahead and delete this one all right and we'll re-add it make it at 2 p.m. and remember I said in the previous video we want to put the information twice so when someone does click the pop-up here if they're on the grid the grid view when you click the pop-up you get all this what you put in the title line is what we just put right there if you don't include that name again when they're just getting a the pop-up they're not going to see this I like having that instant confirmation you're looking at the right event so we're on Joe's And this meeting, we're gonna make it. Let's see, we're gonna make it daily. Oh, actually, we'll make yeah, we'll make this one daily, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. I'm gonna hide the end time. That way, we don't have to worry about setting it. And this event is gonna recur uh, weekdays only, Monday through Friday. Now, notice I left this repeat to zero. If you leave it to repeats at zero, it will be it will set a preset number. Just it's got a number. I'll show you those numbers in a minute. Minute, but uh, I just leave it to zero. You get well over a year's worth of events because currently, right now, this this uh, application does not have the ability to set for infinite events. So when time gets close to being up, you just go in and reset today the date to a date on that particular year. Say uh, like. Like for example, today is the seventh of 2013. Let's say in 2015, roughly right around there is when you're gonna run out of events. You just go reset it to to uh, the seventh of uh, 2015, and it'll redo all that. At some point in the future, oh, we needed to add the location here. Joe's Bar and Grill. Okay. At some point in the future, he may update that where it will do infinite amount of events. So again, we're going to go refresh, and it's going to be back there, and there it is. That's really all there is to it. Just keep in mind that when you update information on locations, okay, that information will not update all the current events. It will be applicable to all new events added going forward. You actually have to go back in and re-add that location on any existing events, and that's all there is to it.